This is one video in a series of videos that show how to use Oracle Apex 5 to build a working web application, a prototype. It won't be fully featured, but it'll be a working application that uses a database in Oracle XE. There are earlier video series in YouTube um, for previous versions of Apex. You can work along with the video by getting the scripts that are available at the URL shown here. Be sure and uh, make the URL case sensitive, so put a capital D, not a lowercase d. You can also, as an alternative, request the scripts be emailed by going to the second link and using the contact page to request the scripts. I'm back in the team development area of Apex. I'm going to click on reports and I'm going to do a filter on anything that has LOV in it. And I see that we need LOVs or loves for the workshop master detail and for evaluation master detail. We've actually completed this one, uh, but I won't update it right now. So I'm logged in as Carlo and I'm going to go to application builder and into the application. I'm going to run that just to remind us what it looks like. I'm going to click on evaluations and go in and look at the master detail form. I don't want to see numbers here like 5011. I don't want to see numbers down here. So I want to make uh, substitutions for that using LOVs. So I will go back to the application Go to Shared Components, List of Values. But this will be a little more sophisticated list of values. In the past, we have simply picked a Display column and a Return Value column. This time, we're going to need to write the SQL because I want to take three columns and combine them into a single Display column in the List of Values. This will be built from scratch, and I'm going to call this student list. It'll be dynamic and click next. I'm going to pause the video and type in the SQL and then I will talk about the SQL. So I've typed in the code and I'll step through it here. I have team underscore name. That's a column name in the teams table. I have two vertical bars that we often refer to as just pipe. So it's pipe pipe I'm putting spacing around these to separate out the different objects. Um, and so after that, I have a space, and then I have a single quote, a, a colon followed by a single quote. Putting the single quotes around the colon will add the, sing, the uh, colon at the end of the team name. So think of the pipe pipe as plus or adding to. So I follow that with two more vertical bars, pipe, pipe, and then I put the student last name. That's the column name, STDL name, in the students table. I have pipe, pipe, single quote, comma, and a space to separate the last name, comma, space. Then close my single quote, uh, close with a single quote, pipe, pipe, STDF name for student first name. All of this is added together and treated as a single column, and it is, uh, is assigned to column alias D. Then I take the primary key value from the student table, which is student ID, and that is the return value, remembering that we have a display column and we have a return column. This is coming from two tables, students and teams, and you have to join the two tables to show how they connect and it's, they join on uh, team ID, which is the primary key from teams, equal to std underscore std team ID. That's the foreign key field name from students. The order in which you list the tables doesn't matter. The order in which you uh, put the, the primary key field name and the foreign key field name doesn't matter. And this will all be sorted uh, by the first column, which is what the one represents. So I'm going to go ahead and create this list of values. Now that I have that list, I'm going to go back to my application. I'm going to run it. 
and I'm going to go into Evaluations. To get to the form, I will click Edit, and I see my master detail. So now I want to edit this page. It'll bring up Page Designer on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, I see Evaluator ID. I select that. Over on the far right side, I see the properties for this page item, which is associated with the evaluator ID field in the table. I'm going to change the type to select list, and I get my warning. I'm going to, it, it says evaluator as the label, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. I can go ahead and collapse this, and I can collapse layout and grid and appearance just so I can get all of this on one screen. I could have also just scrolled down. I can also do validation. Just collapse those so that I see the list of values section. So this will be shared components and we have a student list and for display no value yes I'm going to put select evaluator and I can save that or I could just go ahead and continue doing edits. But I'm going to, while I'm here, I'm going to do Evaluatee. Again, selecting on the far left and then coming over and doing my select list. My label is good. Under list of values, I want shared component. I want my student list. So I'm using the same LOV for two different fields in the same form. And I'll do select Evaluatee and save and while I'm here I'm going to check on eval ID and I just wanted to verify that it is displayed because I want my primary key displayed so I'll go ahead and run that so I'm getting an error message and I'm guessing that's because the SQL code that I wrote in the LOV has a flaw uh, I did a copy on that. Let's see, actually, let me let me go back here for a second. To application. And then what I did is I went into SQL Workshop so I could run it under SQL Commands. And then I pasted in my command. So I copied the code from the LOV into SQL Workshop so I could kind of, I could alter it and debug it a little. Uh, and I immediately see that I left off my select statement, which is not good. That'll give you problems. Um, and then I was going back and looking at the object browser and verifying names, and it looks like I need just std underscore team ID. So let me try running this. And it does run. I'm going to scroll down. And so I'm seeing the team name and the uh, student name. I do want to come up here and do a space. Uh, actually, I'm not going to copy paste this. I'll go in and do the edits to the shared components. Anyway, doing a little debugging here. So I'll go back to eval items and say OK. And go back to my application. Go to shared components. List of values and then go into student list and go down to my source code, add my select. I'll pause the video while I make these edits. So I have applied those changes. I will now go back to the application and run it. Come back to evaluations and try this again. So now what I see is the team name followed by the last name and first name of the student for the evaluator and the evaluatee. The next thing that I want to do is essentially the same thing, although I can use the standard SQL, or I'm sorry, the standard LOV interface because I want to replace this number for evaluation item with the eval item code, which is an abbreviation, so something like um, reliable and or you could use the full text which is reliable in 
meeting deadlines, something to that effect. So again, I'll come back to my application and I go to shared components and I do a list of values and I will create and I can use the, uh, see, I'll do the eval relation item list and it's dynamic. And I can scroll down and use the wizard because I'm not trying to combine more than one column into the display. And this will be for a val item, a val item. And click next. That's my dis or that's my table. And I want to display the item code. I want to display the item code. And then I want the return value for eval item ID. I'm going to use that in the details section for the evaluations. While I'm here though, I know that I want a list of student names without the team name in front of it. So I'm going to create another LOV for students where I just show the last name and first name. So I'll do student names and be it'll be dynamic. Now I do want to concatenate so I'm going to pause the video and type in the SQL code and uh, I'm going to combine the last name with the first name. So I've typed in the code select STDL name pipe pipe space single quote comma space single quote space pipe pipe space STDF name those combined as the display column and STDID as the return column. And I'll go ahead and create that list and I will return to the application. So back in evaluations in the master detail, I'm now going to edit and see uh, text instead of numbers for this evaluation item in the detail section. So I edit this page, I get to page designer, on the left hand side, the detail section, I'm going to collapse the master section, which looks like I don't have a proper name for that, but I'll worry about that later. The eval item scores is the detail section, so I want to expand the columns and I want to get to the eval item ID. So I select that on the left, come over to the right. Now in this case, I still want my select list and the heading for evaluation item is fine and display no value select item to score will be good and I need to designate my shared components and pick my list which is the evaluation item list so I can save that and run it So now I see the names of the teams and the students for the evaluator and evaluatee and I see the actual item being rated in the item in the evaluation item uh, detail section. So actually I want to go back in quickly and edit this where it says evaluation item detail and I'll come back in. So in the process of making this master detail form I got a little confused I guess on what my name would be. So I can come up here now and just say evaluation, I'll just say evaluation data and save that uh, data, not detail. Now the other thing that I want to do is I'll go ahead and run this. From the main page under evaluations. I want to replace with the other LOB that we created, I want to replace these numbers. So now I'm in a report page. So I want to go to edit this page. And I will expand the columns on the left side. I'll pick evaluator ID. Now over on the right, because this is a report page, it's not for data entry ever, then I want to say plain text based on an LOB. So I won't get a drop down box and I need to change my heading so I'm going to say evaluator here 
Then again, shared component. This time I will pick student names. And I don't have to worry about displaying a null value. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to worry about that in this case, like I do with a, with a form. Now I click Save, but I'm going to go ahead before I look at this and make the edit to Evaluate T. So the heading will be Evaluate T, and it'll be plain text based on a list of values, shared components, and student names. And I'll save that, and then I'll run this. And in the report, that leads into the evaluation master detail, I now see the names of the evaluator and evaluatee, which is very useful. I want to do the same type of thing for the workshops. I have workshops here. The report itself, I don't need to add anything in terms of an LOV, but when I go into the master detail, I don't want to see student number. But that's the point of shared components. I can, again, reuse an LOV in this page that I created in the sh uh, shared components section. So I'll simply go to edit here and I will select the or actually I need to go down into the detail section so I'll expand attendances or columns and then I'll do attendance student ID and I will make this a select list because it can be used for data entry to add students to uh, the attendance for a workshop and make sure that my heading looks good it does I have my list of values that's going to be shared components and I'll be using my student names again display null value yes and I'll just say select student name and save and run. So now I see the names of the students. And if I were to actually add somebody to this workshop, add a row, then I see my what to the text for displaying a null value, no assignment, and I can add someone here. Whoops, I've already got Bob in there, so let's pick someone else. And from there I can save that. And it was inserted successfully so I know that my master detail is working. In the next video we're going to look at creating views and how we can combine information from multiple tables into an, what appears like a table to the end user.